Hey what's up guys my name is Anand and welcome back to my channel. In today's video we're going to talk about search intent optimization. So before we get into the optimization part let's understand what exactly is search intent. Search intent is the reason as to why a user is typing a query on a search engine. If you understand what's the reason behind someone is going to go on google.com and type in the query you will be able to create content that is going to align with that searcher's intent. That is that is extremely powerful and important because um, you know on-page optimization, off-page optimization in, in in SEO is is fine, but if you don't align your content with the searcher's intent, your click-through rate is gonna go down, and you know you will lose ranking. So it's, that's why it's very important and. We're gonna next talk about like what are the different types of you know searcher intent or categories of queries. Now, uh, broadly, search intent can fall into four different categories. The first one is informational. Now, informational queries are more in the sense you know the user is researching about something. He's looking for you know industry resources, blogs, articles. He's asking questions like why, what, how, when. Um, basically, these are high-level, you know, queries that is more uh, on the research side. Some examples are: What is digital marketing? Uh, and what is digital? Why is digital marketing important? What is digital marketing strategies? Um, and the table on the right side that you can see is an easy way to figure out um, the keywords that a user might, you know, uh, have in in his search query. So, how, what, who, where, why, guide, tutorial, resource. Now these are some examples of keywords that an informational query might have. The next one is navigational, you know, query. Navigational queries can be, you know, the user really wants to go to a specific section within a website. Um, the he or she knows exactly where they want to go, and they just go on Google.com um, and be very specific in terms of what they want. So it's uh, examples are like AHF login, SEMrush blog, HubSpot Academy. Like if if I am uh, if I am a reader of SEMrush blog, and if I go on Google.com, uh, rather than you know typing what is SEMrush, and I'm gonna type SEMrush blog because I want to go there. You know, so these are navigational queries where the user knows knows where he or she wants to go, and they are going to use um, search engines. Um, to find that information. The next one is commercial investigation. Now this is important because um, you can think about these queries as, um, as, as as middle of the funnel or or even like bottom of the funnel. Um, because in, in this case, the user is trying to analyze different products and services and they are starting to compare. So examples are best SEO tools, um, best digital marketing blogs, Ahref review, Ahref versus SEMrush. Now, if you don't know what Ahref and SEMrush are, basically these are SEO tools. Um, so, other examples are like um, New York Times versus Wall Street Journal, um, best um, news channels or best news online publications, best magazines. Like th these are all uh, commercial investigation. And the queries might have keywords like best, top, review, attribute of a product, and comparison. So commercial investigation, again, is trying to analyze which product is best, and um, they are actively researching it, comparing it so that they can buy. And then finally, transactional queries are at the bottom of the funnel where the, the intent of the user is to make a purchase. So. Examples are buy SEMrush, of price, uh, SEMrush pricing. Uh, it can be like um, coupons on Amazon or Amazon Black Friday deals, um, Nike discount, um, Apple online store um, promotions. You know, the, these kind of queries are basically bottom of the funnel because they, they have made up their mind, they, they want to purchase, but they are just, you know, either they are they are finding for like pricing options, like for example, keywords might have like price, um, purchase, order, coupon, buy, or it can be like 
directly going to um, search engine and typing something like buy iPhone 12 you know th those are the kind of transactional um, keywords so um, again four different types of query types and um, these are just some examples and this graph is uh, it's pretty easy to understand because uh, you will exactly get to know what kind of keywords that query might have now um, again when I said you know once you understand the search intent and where or which category that query is going to fall into uh, the next step is to optimize that content right now I'm going to show you why you need to optimize for search intent um, so optimizing for search engine is on page off page technical but optimizing for search intent is trying to humanize your content that's what I would say trying to humanize your content in a sense that you are you're making sure that you satisfy the searches query now few examples uh, the informational uh, category that I said what is digital marketing now if, if I type this uh, take a look at the the top 10 results on Google when they are on top 10 you know search results these websites are basically doing a fantastic job in matching the searchers intent look at this the who what why and how of digital marketing dear god like HubSpot is doing an amazing job um, I spoke about the keywords that um, the the search query might have that fall under informational you know category I, I spoke about how what who where <laughs> and when you look at the title itself I don't know if it's keyword stuffing I it's it is not actually they do a fantastic job but just look at the title the who what why and how of digital marketing that's amazing if we scroll down marketo what is digital marketing exact match but not just that this they do a good job of on-page optimization but it does match the searches intent because the information on this page is relevant to that query as we scroll down same you know digital marketing made simple um, just exclude Wikipedia but what is digital marketing and how do I get so as you can see the the results are fantastic and the answer that these websites are providing is pretty accurate and it's matching the searchers intent again the second type of um, category that I told was best SEO tools uh, this is commercial investigation and as you can see um, they are all pretty good results as you can see th th these websites are basically compiling all the different tools and they are displaying it in a, in a in one single page so everything is matching the searcher intent so there's no reason that they should not rank href versus semrush again commercial investigation pretty pretty accurate results that Google is providing and then finally uh, transactional intent is you know I'm, I'm searching for semrush pricing and directly the answer is coming from the semrush website itself so as I said earlier SEO or search engine optimization is a process of optimizing your content for search engine um, which is which includes on page off page and technical SEO but search intent optimization is ensuring that the content that you write is for human beings is for your reader every single visitor for your website is is not a bot they are real humans coming to your website so um, matching their intent and writing appropriate content will be extremely critical um, with that being said um, if you have any questions guys let me know in the comment section and make sure to subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time. Thank you.